Hey guys, Zach with Hook and Timber Outdoors. Today we're going to be tying an olive quill body Euro Nymph jig. Uh, with this fly, let me make sure I have what I need. I have a size 18 J100BL. I apologize, this is actually a 16. I changed my mind just to make it a little bit bigger in the camera. Still the J100BL, it's just a 16 from Allen. 2.5 millimeter uncoated tungsten bead from Trout Legend. Alright, so we will go ahead and get started. I have um, Danville 70 denier white thread. Let me get this bead back up there. I'm just going to tie in right behind the bead. Get a couple locks to try to secure the bead from not going anywhere. Wrap right back down to the start of the curve in the hook. We're going to stop. Use mallard, front, mallard flank and natural as the tail. I'm only going to pull off about probably five fibers, six at most. I'm going to try to keep this pretty slim. Okay. I have one that's a little bit shorter. Let me get this off. be easier if I just pull off a whole new stem. A whole new set of fibers. Yep, those are some good ones. All right, make sure they're natural or lined up as natural as possible just to ensure that you have a solid looking fly. So we're going to tie it in about a quarter of an inch for the tail. Make sure you can uh, secure that down. You can pull it back if need be if you don't like it where you originally sit it. I'm just going to wrap back up it's right behind the bead. I'm going to trim this off. And now I'm actually going to whip finish. No, we're not done yet. I'm just going to take a couple, one, two, three, couple turn whip finish, trim it off. You could have started with the Vivas body quill. That's fine too. I don't like doing that just because the whip finishing with this is not all that great. Um, I'm going to have to wind up doing it anyway, but this is your Vivas body quill. This is an olive color. I'm going to tie in right behind the bead and wrap my thread back down. And then I'm actually going to start slowly wrapping back up. Really trying to keep this fairly slim just so we can ensure a solid quick sink rate and that is very important whenever you you are euro nymphing you want to get those flies down as quick as possible so I've got that take my wet finish tool wet finish about three times I'm not gonna do too much with this one two three Pull that tight, trim off the excess, and here's where I'm going to pull some UV clear finish from Loon, and we're just going to dab a little bit on, and then we're going to zap it with our UV light. So let me go ahead and get just a little bit. I know it doesn't look too good right now, but what I'm going to do next is take my bodkin. This is your bodkin. It's pretty much a long needle, and we're just going to smooth this out. To where you can get a nice even distribution going across the fly. And this is going to help it have a nice solid sink rate as well. So once I have what I like, what I'm going to do is zap it. reason why we're turning, goodness, I need to oil my vise. reason why we're turning is just to ensure that, number one, it hardens 
all over throughout the fly and to make sure if you leave it in one spot too much and especially in the first part of the process what you're going to have is you're going to start if you leave it right here and just start zapping it some of the uv resin is going to cake up on the bottom and you don't want that you want it to have as nice even distribution as possible so this is also going to ensure its durability that's one of the reasons why i like using uv thread or uv thread uv um, clear resin on some of my flies so we're good to go here all it really takes is about maybe 10 15 seconds Final step is we're going to take some dubbing. I'm going to be using some here's ice dub and brown. I'll pull it out of my box. This is what it's going to look like. Just add a little bit, not that much. Gonna dub a little bit on there. Make a few few turns. Now we can go ahead and whip finish. And this is the finished product. This is your olive quill body Euro nymph jig. All right, well, I appreciate everyone's time watching this video. If you did like what you saw, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And uh, also check us out on Facebook. We're at Hook and Timbers Outdoors. Hook and Timber Outdoors, there's no plural on the timber part. Um, Check us out on Facebook as well. Make sure you like our page. and uh, We're constantly uploading stuff, so make sure you check us out on there also. And We're eventually going to be doing a giveaway, so make sure you stay tuned on that. I'm going to be reminding everyone to subscribe to our page. That's going to be one of the... Uh,